Okay, fantastic. Well, I love the location. I love the fire pit. I mean, this is a whole backyard entertaining area. This is terrific. And then you're the gardener, huh? You can tell the gardener has the dirt underneath her nails. This is the ritual. Sit right here, listen to that sound. Yeah, they got the hot tub in here. Man, this is... Yep. I never... A day went by that I said to myself, well, I wish I didn't spend that money. Amen. Lifestyle. Okay, nice neighborhood, Brian. Barrington, Illinois, right? Hoffman Estate. Oh, Hoffman Estate. Gorgeous day. I mean, it's 78. Oh my gosh, I love this. And I'm Greg with the Ponga. This is my vlog channel, Greg with the Ponga, which is all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. There's the man, the myth, the legend, Brian Helfrich himself, who created this. And you think that I might have actually built this pond? That's how old it was? Well, you sure didn't build this one. Yeah, yeah the new one, <laughs> the second pond. But the original one. Oh, look at his garden. At the very least sold it. And I know Ed was out. Hey, pup. There's the attack dog. It's the same as you have, right? I mean, doesn't he look like his twin? Yep, and he barks too. <laughs> Aw. How you doing, Brad? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? This is a great garden. That's my wife. The gardener? Where's your wife? I see your daughter. <laughs> I don't know how to handle that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a hug. Oh, there we go. Thank you guys for letting us do this. So did I come out here originally or what happened? No. Ed, the designer Ed was here. Okay. okay. For the first time. Which was when? When was that? 22 years ago. <laughs> Something was, like that. I think it's 19, 20. Years. I thought it was longer than that. But we had, We've been in the house 25. When we first moved in here, we went to Home Depot and got a vacuum That's plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah preformed tub. Right. We put that in there. In the corner. The reason that we did that was because <laughs> when I was growing up as a kid, my dad did the same thing. And it was just a round half a 55 gallon drum sunk in the ground with some lava rock. He had a little pump. So you actually had a water feature growing up, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, and I've always been amazed by how cool they can be. When we did that, and for some reason somebody talked about a pond rock, uh -huh, that I had never heard of before. Yep, our aquascape pond tours. Uh -huh. And we did that, and the first backyard that we walked into, I lost it. Could not believe how amazing it was. And then we contacted your company, Ed came out. Yep. He said, well, let's go in the backyard and I'll show you what we can do. And he took our garden and hose and made a loop yep. out of it. Laid it out. And I was like, okay, we made a deal and we've enjoyed that mm -hmm. every year that we've had it. Last year was our 35th anniversary. Congratulations. And we wanted to do something and we didn't know what it was, but my wife and I both share our love for this stuff. Something that we could put money into that we would both enjoy. So they rebuilt it a That's year and a half ago? Just about a year ago. Okay, fantastic. Well, I love the location. I love the fire pit. I mean, this is a whole backyard entertaining area. I believe we went from like 900 <laughs> gallons to now about 3,000 gallons. Much bigger, deeper. I love the steps. Yeah. I love how that granite, and I love the little destination, I'm yeah. sure. With that the, with, was Ryan's idea. Yeah, because there's a reason that you want to go over there. You know, it draws your eyes, and then you go over there. This is terrific. And then you're the gardener, huh? You can tell the gardener has the dirt <laughs> underneath her nails. Yeah. Get all the mosquito bites. <laughs> so big yard, but you brought it up close and personable, right outside this beautiful, was this a three, four season it's room? Screen porch. Yeah, three season room. The, the secret to this room. is, yeah. there's one spot in the house that is the cherished seat. Okay. And I really pad lane. If we have friends over and we really like them, when the light streams through here, when the sun is out. Hey, puppy. This is the ritual. Sit right here, listen to that sound. Yeah, a glass of scotch or something else. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, they got the hot tub in here. Man, this is. We have it run all, all winter long. Mm -hmm. So even in the winter, if we're in the hot tub, we open up the windows and we get the sound. The last winter was the first year that we never had a single issue because it's so much deeper. With the Fish. And the aeration. The fish would make it through the winter before. Yes. We were only 24 inches deep, and now we're close to four feet in the middle. Right. It's night and day. And because of the way the new skimmer is and the way it's set up. Lower maintenance with the new skimmer, right? No issue at all. It right. just ran all winter long. Oh, this is such a nice breeze in here.
All right, so something I always talk about with design is how do you take a football field of a yard and do an average size pond and make it feel like it's big without it looking like a five gallon bucket in the middle of a football field. Well, here's an enormous yard and then bringing the pond up close to the house, the key to that is the backdrop. And so if you have a tall backdrop so you don't look past into the football field space behind it, and it feels bigger and more intimate. So this is approximately a 21 foot pond by about 12, 13 feet, maybe 15 feet at the widest in here and it feels enormous in this space like all ponds brought right up close to the viewing area this pond sitting out in here would feel really insignificant so bringing it up here and then visible from the screened in porch area over here is awesome but imagine sitting in here every day spring summer fall winter sitting down in this chair and then looking out and seeing this I mean can you think of a more relaxing spot another question people have all the time how do we deal with predators raccoons and herons and egrets and, and all those things. Cats, foxes, all kinds of stuff. And I think what's great is they just got done telling us that they have video, countless videos, of raccoons using the stepping stones to get across here. And skunks. And I'm sure there's the miscellaneous coyote and fox that runs around back here. So with the video of them coming across, what's funny is raccoons won't swim and try to catch fish. I always laugh and say raccoons have ADD. And if they can't figure it out right away, then they're going to move on to the neighbor's garbage can or their pond or so on and so on. And so yes, they use the path way to come across but there's no way they swim down into the deep part of the pond and, and get the fish and then what we did to try to deter the heron is we eliminated a lot of the shallow shelves that the heron would come in on the shallowest area you could come in on would be this area here and then we put an aerator that comes up to storch the water so much that the heron can't see through and get the fish another cool thing is you build it and they will come you've heard Greg say it over and over check out the frog sitting up here waiting for his next meal every single time people say hey will I get frogs and dragonflies I think they actually follow our trailer and come and then just jump right into the pond knowing that there'll be a future home for them. But the pond looks great. We redid this a couple years ago. Actually last year, or two years ago. And um, built a pond 20 some years ago for them originally and then just gave it a facelift. The biggest thing we did, the original pond stopped here. Bringing it all the way up to here really increases the enjoyment from inside over here. We updated the waterfalls. Getting a little higher, bigger boulders. The original one was built out of a lot of small size cobbles because that's how we built things back then. So updating the falls, making it bigger, the stepping stone. They really wanted some way to get over the side and you guys know the rule like bridges stepping stones paths should lead to something So just to sit down in that chair gives a completely different perspective of the pond Yeah, I actually like it back over here very cool So a pond like this took us two days. One of the most expensive things were these step stones. We had these granite boulders actually sawn off at the tops and the bottoms to give us a consistent height. And then most importantly, a nice flat surface to walk on where a boulder like that, there's no way you could pull that off. <laughs> Another little frog. We also brought the pond further this way. Original pond kind of stopped here. We brought it all the way up close to the viewing area over in here. This pond will easily last them another 20 to 30 years without having to do a facelift. Actually, I don't know how we would make it better at this point. Great job and the landscaping will just look better and better over time.
I can say, this is with the first pod, yep. I never, a day went by that I said to myself, well, I wish I didn't spend that money. Amen. You've only been here a few times. Yep. Brian, you are so awesome at what you do. And we call Aquascape if we think we have an issue. And there's somebody out here the very next day. Mm -hmm. And how many companies, landscaping companies, that might do this on the side, do you get that kind of support? And do you get that kind of, you know, right away, not, oh, maybe in two This years. is a lifestyle, right? And it, it's a hobby. And it's our hobby too. It's our lifestyle, it's you know. Brian's got a pond. Yeah. I've got a pond. And the average person that we build for gets more than one water feature because they live with it and they say, well, we're going to stay here. Let's do something more. So I texted Brian my concerns. I got a response from him that I swear to you, Lord, me like you wouldn't believe. He told me if we have to take every rock out of that pond, we will make it right. You will be 100% satisfied. Always, yes. I didn't know what to say. That was a golden ticket to whatever you wanted to do. Well, long and short of it was you came out, you brought the thing back, you lifted both stones out, you cut down the one by grinding into it and shaving it off, put it back in, and now they're at a beautiful height, and I was dumbstruck because I really thought when I saw what it was going to be that that was going to be the way it was going to stay. It looks perfect that, now. I wouldn't have never known that. Uh, and, yeah. That goes back to you and what you've instilled in your company. That's how you guys play the game. Kudos, customer's always right. Kudos for that. Amen. Amazing. Good work, young man. Well, you know what? And I think it's you living with a pond, me living with a pond, and we appreciate it. And if you were to drop that kind of money, yep. something in your house or in your yard, you'd want it perfect too. And I think right? it is perfect. So they got it right. I would have never known that story. I work to get that. I have probably three toys in my life at this point. I have a hot tub that I paid a lot of money for. I took the side of this building down. Sure, to get it in there. To get it in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> in the middle of the winter. I thought I would use that hot tub every single day for the rest of my life. There are times that go by six months in a row that I don't. I have a brand new Wizard of Oz pinball machine. That <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like $10,000. And I thought I would play that every night when I got home from work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I use every day? My freaking pond. Amen. Because I can come home, have a glass of wine out here, let the chickens roam around, yep. feed them cherry tomatoes from the garden, feed mm -hmm. the fish, and enjoy an environment. Yeah. I tell you, I have never in my life, once I paid for it, or I paid for it in one of it, I've never felt so satisfied with a purchase before. Because it, Amen. It just, it's there every day. Yep. And I 365, there's something to enjoy, even in the winter. I good, love to hear it. That's a great story. Now can we play that pinball machine? Yes, you may. Now we got to play that pinball machine. What? I got a hot tub and a pinball machine. You want to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot tub you have to move. Yeah. <laughs> There's those rocks. I think they're the perfect height. Can't get it right the first time, get it right the second time. I think I could sit right here looking back at this. Not bad. Living the aquascape lifestyle. Which thanks. She'll say, shame on you. What did you do? You don't go potty in the house. <laughs> you go potty outside. You don't go potty in the house. <laughs> but she gets scared with me. <laughs> I gotta show, since I've been here, I gotta show the view from inside the house. Great kitchen view. Right outside, you see the aquascape water feature. Not bad. All right, let's see this pinball game here, down here. He's gonna tell the pac -Man story. What a nice bar. Oh, like, okay. It's booting up. Oh, it's booting up. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's all I tried it's now. All computerized jack well. pinball. I love the sound effect. Yeah. Oh. This is the same guy that teases me all the time oh, for, right the for owning a Pac-Man machine. And hey. look at the joy on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you come over here, it stops. There we go. It's because you're not good at it. You do it. It's dark. Cool machine. Finish this sentence, Brian. I love your job. <laughs> I love my job too.